With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi everyone, let's take a question. So here the question is the isotopic abundance of the C12 and C14 is 98% and 2% respectively. So what would be the number of C14 isotope in the 12 gram carbon sample? So here we are given with the isotopic abundance, right? Here we are given with the isotopic abundance of the C12 isotope that is 98% and for the C14 it is the 2% right it is 2% okay so now we need to know about the number of C14 isotope in the 12 gram sample before that we will find out the average atomic mass before that we will find out the average atomic mass for both when we have both the isotopes okay so here that will be mass number into relative abundance that is given to us okay it will be for the first isotope plus here what we will have mass number into the abundance this will be for the second one okay and it will be divided by the two sorry 100 it will be divided by the 100 because here we have this percentage okay so here this be for c12 and this be for c14 so here if we put up the values okay now here what we have is the c12 c14 so here this 12 and 14 is our mass number okay here this 12 and 14 is our mass number so here we will have 98 into 12 plus what we will have here 2 into 14 by 100 and here our average atomic mass is 12.04 grams okay so we have got the average atomic mass right so now here in the so we can say that in the 100 gram of sample okay in the 100 gram of carbon sample we have is the 2 gram of c14 okay we have the 2 gram of c14 because here it is given its abundance is 2 percent its abundance is 2 percent so we have taken it to be 2 grams okay so then in the 1 gram how much it will be 2 upon 100 okay it will be 2 upon 100 now we want to know for the 12.04 okay but no before that we need to find for the 12 gram so let's do it for 12 gram so in the 12 gram of carbon sample how much C14 will be there in the grams? 2 upon 100 into 12. Okay, so here we will have 0 0.24 grams. Okay, here we have is 0 0.24. Now we know that by the Avogadro's law that, so now by the Avogadro's law, Avogadro's law, we know that the one mole of any compound has the, one mole of any compound has how much numbers Na that is our Avogadro number that is 6.022 into 10 raised to power 23 atoms okay it according to the Avogadro light are these are our particles so these particles can be atoms ions anything okay so now here if we talk about the C14 okay C14 isotope in the 14 grams okay in the 14 grams in 14 grams how much it will be 6.022 into 10 raised to power 23 okay if we talk about the 1 gram if we talk about the 1 gram it will be 6.022 into 10 raised to power 23 divided by 14 okay it will be divided by 14 okay so now here then for 0 0.24 grams we want to know for the 0 0.24 grams the number of c 14 isotope so here it will be this into 0 0.24 so here our answer is that is the number of c14 isotope is is equal to c14 isotope is 1.032 into 10 raised to power 22 so this is our required answer and that is option number one thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.